in this flutter tutorial let's check out how to implement pages in flutter so you can see here is an app been running on my mobile screen it has been connected to usb for a screen sharing purpose and there is a bottom navigation bar where i am showing a page at my cart menu item and there are two buttons by which i can add items to my page or a cart okay so i'm just clicking on add to a cart and remove from the cart so you can see there is a page been shown so let's check it out how to implement this page in flutter okay so to implement first of all you need to add a dependency or a library in your flutter project so just go to pop specification.yaml file and under dependency section add this page badges uh, library and after adding just hit this pop get button and where you want to implement pages library just you need to import the library as i have done already okay so here i have implemented bottom navigation bar where i am going to show a pages whenever a user want to add an item uh, to his cart and there are two buttons by which the user can add or remove from the cart as i have shown okay so here i will just explain you how to make use of this pages widget in flutter okay so let's check it out so the complete source code of this project will be on my website protocoldespoint.com you can just get the code from there okay so to implement pages all you need to do is uh, for example i want to show a pages in a icon widget so what i will do is i will just create an icon widget over here okay so here i have created a shopping cart icon so to implement uh, badge badges in this uh, widget all you need to do is you just need to wrap this widget with badge widget okay so now let's check out the different properties that you can make use of badge widget to customize it okay so if you go to this badge widget class you can see there are various properties that you can make use of so let's use it one by one which are basically used okay so after adding this batch widget or wrapping the batch widget with the icon widget so let's check out our app after refreshing okay so you can see there is a batch been shown to this uh, icon okay so i want to show a number or a text to this batch so let's do that so for that batch content and here you can just pass any widget that you want so in this case i will just pass a text widget so let's say one notification hot refresh and now if you see so you can see there is a text being shown at a batch and you can also customize this text by making use of style property of text widget hot refresh you can see something like this you can just customize it okay and now if you want to change the shape of this batch widget if you want to make it rectangle then you can make use of property that is shape batch shape dot square okay so hot refresh and you can see there is a square batch been shown okay so i will just remove it and by default it is circle and then next is the animation type badge animation type so in this there are three kinds of one is fade scale and side so side is by default you can just change it as per your need so let's keep it uh fade hot refresh and check so i need to implement uh, this button to this uh, widget so let's do it afterwards okay or else i can do it now so here i have this item to be shown in this text dot to string okay so now let's check it out okay so now when i press so you can see it is fading effect is been shown so you can see this uh, animation of this is different and this is different okay so let's try scale re hot refresh then if you don't want the animation then you can make use of this property that is to animate and you can just set it to true or false as per your needs okay so i will just remove that part okay and next is the position of your badge so it is top uh, right so you can just change it by making use of position widget so position badge position and in this there are four kinds one is uh, top end top start top uh, bottom start and uh, bottom end so you can just make use of it 
so let's do make use of center and check so you can see so bottom start hot refresh yeah and bottom end so something like this you can do it okay so now if you don't want to show this badges at a particular condition then you can just customize it by making use of show badge property so you can just make it false or true depending on the situation so let's try so you can see there is no badge okay so now i have implemented something like when the item cart is zero then i don't want to show a badge so let's check this out okay so you can see now count is zero so it is not showing a badge so let's check it out how i have done that so this variable if this variable is equal to zero then i don't want to show my badge so false and if it is not zero then i want to show my badge that's it okay hot refresh okay so increment so you can see okay so these are the basic properties of batch widget that you can make use of to customize badge and show badge in any widgets of your flutter application okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you